What is a book? A book is a pastime. A book is a passage. Books introduce you to worlds that you're not aware of. What is a bookstore? It's where you discover the latest or lose yourself in the past. It's where you come face to face with your heroes. Kepler's has been a center of intellectual life in the peninsula for over 50 years. Kepler's being here and being vibrant is so important to the community. Kepler's is a connecting point for the community. This past year for Kepler's has been a story of reinvention. Last summer, we set out to fundamentally transform how Kepler's operates. This bookstore is here for us, and so it really matters what the bookstore does and how we participate in it. People told us that Kepler's had to be a great bookstore first, so we spent this first year really rebuilding Kepler's as a great bookstore again. We have doubled the stock. We have over 60,000 great books here. Every book has been handpicked by our expert booksellers. I don't think I've ever not found the book I was looking for, and in fact, I usually find 10 more that I didn't know I needed. I'm 92. 92 years young. 92 years old, but I feel like 16 years old when I'm here. There's something inherently special about having a book in your hands. We take great pride in returning Kepler's to profitability in the first year. At the same time, Kepler's created Peninsula Arts and Letters, a dedicated nonprofit that produced over 225 literary and cultural events in its first year. We host all kinds of events from such luminaries as Khaled Husseini and Salman Rushdie to James Franco. We had Sonia Sotomayor. We host across the board. We have brought in tens of thousands of people to our author events. For me, the, the thing that was interesting about these characters is how flawed they were in human ways. I found out on Facebook that uh, my favorite poet, Billy Collins, was coming out for a poetry reading. Remember the 1340s. <laughs> if you look behind me, there are over 300 people here in the store. We, we were doing a dance called the catapult. <laughs> it was fabulous. You, know, you kind of suspend life and can just enjoy. And yet you're right smack in the middle of it. Independent bookstores provide forums for discussions and readings. It's not just a matter of reading words, but being able to read the world to have the entree to understanding. Our community programs have brought dozens of authors into schools, igniting in kids a passion for reading and writing. I am a huge advocate for our work in schools to take authors and introduce them directly to their readers. You help the students develop a love of reading. What inspired me to be an author? I think the number one thing is that I love books. Uh, I love books and stories. The questions from other students and his answers really engaged me because I'm writing books of my own and he gave me a couple of tips. And people are taking notice. Booksellers from as far away as Korea and Australia have visited Kepler's to learn more about what we're doing. The sustainable bookstore movement has begun. It's been truly an amazing year, and we have one group to thank for it most of all, our community supporters. We owe it all to the people who volunteer, who have donated money, who come to buy books. It's all about them. This is your Kepler's. It's a community asset. It's your bookstore. It's your cultural institution. And it'll go and become what you want it to become. We have been Kepler supporters since my kids are now in their 30s, since they were little. Right, right. And we've always come to Kepler's, and may you survive and thrive forever. 